Well, this is kind of insane. Tomorrow we're going to be getting an hour-long Nintendo Direct, or should I say 50 minutes of all new games. Now, this is some very big deal, mostly because over the course of last year, there's been a lot of talk about the death of Directs, the fact that Nintendo hasn't done a dedicated Direct in quite a while. If they do something that's called a Nintendo Direct, it's typically about indie games or focusing on just a specific project, like Fire Emblem or something. But this is a full-blown showcase Case revealing all new games for the Nintendo Switch. What's up, gamers? Dreamcast guy here, and this is your daily dose of news. So, just minutes ago, Nintendo tweeted out that tomorrow they're going to be doing a big 50 minute presentation focused on available games like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and games coming to Nintendo Switch in the first half of 2021. Now, this is the real important question. How much of this is going to be Super Smash Brothers? How much of this is going to be all new games? I do think that Smash Brothers is probably going to be about 15 minutes of this, but I hope not a lot more than that. Mostly because there's been a lot of leaks and stuff coming out that are very difficult to verify, but have basically been saying that this year is very, very focused on Zelda, because this year is obviously the 35th anniversary. Much of the way that last year they decided to do that Mario Collection, which has three big games on it, all packaged together, which clearly sold a ton, I think they're going to try and repeat that magic. I think they're going to release another giant box set that has three classic games. Now, which ones are still highly debated? Now, currently, I definitely think it's going to be something like Breath of the Wild, something like Wind Waker, and then maybe something like Skyward Sword for Lucky. Three games that are definitely good and regarded and will easily sell copies, because first and foremost, that's what I think Nintendo is trying to do. So, I feel like they could actually open things up by showing just some gameplay of a random Zelda classic and say coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now part of the reason I think this is going to be so Link focused is beyond just the 35th anniversary, we have to keep in mind that there's been a lot of speculation that this is the year we finally get Breath of the Wild 2. Now I think that this is a very easy home run. I mean it seems like if they just came out and said more Breath of the Wild, new castles, new dungeons, new characters, there you go go, people would endlessly celebrate. So I do think that a very small part is going to be teasing that. Now part of the reason I think this is just going to be so teeny tiny is because Breath of the Wild 2 is probably coming in holiday, and specifically the tweet talked about how this is games being released in the first half of 2021. I do think that they're going to be revealing some DLC, they're going to be talking about projects that already exist, because in this they do say, focused on available games. So they're probably going to talk about things like Pokemon. I bet they're going to tease things like that new Pokemon uh, Snap, the Pokemon Snap that's coming soon, stuff like that. But if I could really just dream, if I could put on my thinking cap and speculate as to what would be awesome, Mario Kart 9. I have been thinking about this more and more because I play a lot of Mario Kart 8. Even now, the Mario Kart 8 servers are completely crammed. Like, at any time, 3 a.m., 3 p.m., you can jump online, instantly find matches that are completely full of people. The Mario Kart community is seriously one of the most active, but strangely not talked about aspects of Nintendo. Everybody is obsessed with Mario Kart, but not really talking about Mario Kart. Still, if you look at the sales numbers, Mario Kart 8 is still constantly one of the top selling games in the world. Like, it's truly bonkers how popular that game is. And obviously these are the kind of projects that Nintendo loves the most. They love an easy win, because sometimes it's nice to just come out with exactly what fans are desiring and selling a billion copies from it. I think that this showcase is going to be good, and I am going to be live streaming a reaction to it tomorrow, if my power manages to stay on, but... I think there might be a little bit of disappointment. I do think that there is going to be some fluff and filler in this, but I think it's going to be partially a show of power by Nintendo themselves. By what I mean is that well, over the course of last year, Nintendo had to be pretty quiet. Like, I've been a Nintendo fan for quite a while, and I definitely think that it's been a little bit strange how silent Nintendo was. And a lot of this was 
just because of the pandemic. I mean, from every rumor I heard, it's just the fact that working from home hit them incredibly hard. So I feel like part of the reason the showcase is so enormous, I bet they're going to have skits. I bet they're going to have actors. I bet they're going to have the president of Nintendo, Doug Bowser. He's probably going to be walking around in a green screen playing a Switch. And the reason they're doing this is to show you that things are trying to return to normal. They're doing this to try and show you that, hey, we're still working on games. I'm just saying this because if you're expecting this to be reveal, 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 trailer, gameplay, release dates, it's probably not going to be like that. This is still probably going to be a slower, more silly presentation, mostly because I do think that this is, well, kind of just setting up the replacement for E3. E3 this year is probably not happening, or if it is, it's just going to be a crummy live stream. So I think that this is Nintendo already showing, we don't need you, we're setting ourselves up for another great successful year. My biggest hope for this personally, but something I kind of doubt will be shown, is hopefully they show us the Nintendo Switch Pro. Now the reason why is because eventually they need to reveal it, and they're going to need to start marketing it if they plan on selling a revision for the Nintendo Switch with slightly better frame rates, slightly better resolution, you need to start hyping it up now that way you can get pre-orders, get people going, get people ready to line up. And and I really think a lot of this is going down in like March and April. I think that they're going to start trying to advertise the new Nintendo Switch for, you know, late spring, early summer. And I also think that this is when the year of Zelda is going to begin. I bet that right as the Mario collection goes off of eShop, because remember that's being deleted on March 31st, they're going to bring on the Zelda collection. This is going to begin the new cycle of classic games coming to Switch and then randomly vanishing. And hopefully the games are good. But what do you think? Are you excited for this? Are you hyped? Honestly, I am just because I'm mostly curious. I'm, I genuinely wish it was tomorrow right now so I could stream this because I am just kind of dying to see what does or doesn't get revealed. If this whole thing is all about freaking Super Smash Brothers, I'ma be... 5% butt hurts. But tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Um, Texas is still having the rolling blackouts and stuff, so I'm gonna do my best to stream tomorrow. It may be impossible, but hopefully I see you guys there. Woo boy! Nintendo! I want that pro. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.